Kayla. I don't know. All the lava flooding the streets, this permanent smell of sulfur, talking skeletons, but, uh, most of all, I can feel all this tension coming from you. Very observant. But you just don't get it. What do you mean? Just drop it. If you don't even know what's going on, just drop it. Yeah, kid. You'd better just drop it. Like hell I will. What am I supposed to know? Damn, Randall, how could you be so stupid? I warned you. What did you expect? You thought all this would actually end well? Just get the ring back and act like this all never happened? What the hell were you expecting, you selfish prick? Uh, uh, look, uh, I'm sorry, honestly, but don't you think the apocalypse is going a bit far? Sally, that ring is really evil. Would you mind taking it off? Evil? And what do you think I am? That ring's changed you. Maybe, but obviously for the better. No way! The Sally I know would beat the crap out of you. Oh, I'm so scared. Say hello to her if you see her. Oh, and say hello to that stupid bum who gave Matt the ring as well. Thanks to the both of you, the world is mine. Ha ha ha. Wait a second. How did you know all that? Oh, come on. I know everything. I've had my eye on that ring since Matt got it from that stinking bum. Matt's wallet never had any secrets from me. I have gone through it every night since we started dating to make sure he didn't spend all his money on booze and temporary tattoos. I don't approve of that at all, but go on. The thing is, one day I found this ring, and I fell for it. Since the very first time I laid eyes on it, I've longed for it. But then you came along and stole your best friend's wallet, you ruined his wedding, you made him kill himself more than 2,000 times. Well, you know the story. But what matters here is that despite all that, I got the ring. And it's all mine. Isn't that great? Oh, sure. Great. It's just fantastic. Take a look around. This could only get better. Of course. My loyal servants will make sure of that. Oh, But I don't understand. Why do you control them? Did she just call us servants? Don't you get it? They fear me. They know it's best not to anger me, or they might lose their heads. Aw, oh, come on. You were a good person. He even donated clothes to charity and everything. You fool! I'm not the same Sally you used to know. <laughs> oh, hey, 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 now I get it. It's that time of the month, right? Okay, relax. Let me go get you some ice cream. What kind do you want? What did you say? Don't answer that. It's a trap. Well, uh, you know, it's that time of the... You know, the communist arrived, the lights are red, the monster is monstering. Ah! Oh, bother. Oops. How do you like my new look, Randall? Well, you've said worse things to Elaine. Yeah, but when I tell her those things, I do it with respect. You are just horrible. Anyway, my dear Randall... I never expected that you would give me the ring personally that night in the bar. But thanks to that, it's mine now. Now I've learned to channel its power, and I've become what is commonly known as the devil. The apocalypse has begun, and I couldn't be happier. <laughs> Are you trying to blame this on me? Oh, there's no way I'm going to clean up all this mess. You stupid, insignificant toad. You, and only you, are responsible for this disaster. Now you'll have to live the rest of your life with the guilt. Not really. I have a TV, a DVD player, and all six seasons of The Sopranos at my apartment. It's the damn end of the world, and you keep acting like all Mr. Smarty Pants. Well, you lost. Checkmate. Hey, this isn't over yet. The credits still haven't rolled. A lot can happen. Not a boy. Never lose hope. <laughs> and you, slackers, breaks over. I want this planet destroyed before 5 p.m. Now get back to work. Destroy! Now, oh, I hope you crash into a volcano, you hateful bitch. So, uh, she's your boss, huh? I see you guys don't have the most nurturing working relationship. She's a tyrant! She wants to destroy the whole world in less than a day. Is she crazy or what? We have rights, you know. Yeah, and the most important right is the right to have lunch. Amen, brother. Uh, are we allowed to use the word amen? You know, boys, all this has a name. It's called exploitation at the workplace. 
Amen to that as well. Yes? Someone had to say it. I think that would be going a bit far. You shouldn't be forced to work under so much pressure. Well, it's all your fault, pal. Um, well, uh, that's what she says. But the real victim here is me. Do be quiet, mortal. We already have enough problems, can't you see? Don't try to make us feel sorry for you. We are the four horsemen of the apocalypse. Yeah, oh, the war still cries every time he watches Cinema Paradiso. Oh, shut up. That final scene with the kissing is really touching. Uh, chaps, that's enough. Look, all I'm saying is I didn't cause any of this. I'm just another victim, and nobody's helping me. How do you know that? Have you tried asking for help? That's right. That usually helps. Well, uh, I guess I can give it a try. Well, then. Wait a second. Are you talking about yourselves? Okay, okay, I didn't realize that. <clears throat> Horseman, I need your help. I've been trying to fix everything the ring has destroyed for a long time now, and it was all in vain. You're my last hope. What do you say? Sorry, we're on our lunch break. Ah, crap. Come on, lads. We don't really like this situation either. Why don't we give the boy a hand? What the hell are you talking about? Yes, what are you talking about? Are you suggesting we use... it? Uh, what are you gonna do to me? We're gonna eat you if you don't shut the hell up. But you wanna use... it? Well, not for free, of course. He'd have to do something for us. Like, bring us something to eat. I'm not awfully sure if that's a good idea. Oh, let me explain. You see, we know this ancient mystical secret that could fix all this in the wink of an eye. And, uh, everything would go back to normal? No curses, no suicides, no end of the world? That's right, yeah. Well then, uh, hey, what are we waiting for? Do you prefer orange juice or pineapple? Fried eggs or scrambled? Not so fast. Oh, uh, what? Are you, uh, gluten intolerant or something? Let's just say our taste buds are a little... special. We only eat rare, grilled human flesh. The younger, the better. It's more tender, you know. Which means we're not gonna just eat some random putrefied body or anything. We need fresh meat. Something still breathing. Uh... Are you insinuating you want to eat me? Well, if you're willing to be eaten, that's fine with us. We have our lunch. <laughs> Brothers, wait. Before you start fighting over who's going to start eating him first, how are we going to help him if you guys eat him? Good point. I love his thigh. <clears throat> I think I have a better solution that will satisfy all of us. Especially you. Let me pull some strings and I'll be back with your lunch in no time, huh? You had better not be playing some trick on us. Remember, I know where you live. And please, don't waste any time chatting to strangers. You mean strangers like you guys? Oh, for goodness sake, you know us. We've been in tons of films, right? Well, uh, not that many. Oh, really? But I thought... Sorry. Well, uh, I should probably... You should probably go and get us some lunch. Uh, yeah, that's right. Um, I'll go fetch your lunch. Man, my roommate is a total psycho. Have I gone nuts or is this one of those ceremonial daggers? Damn it. The moment I let go of the dagger, the fireplace goes back to its original position. Oh man, finally. Having this thing in my inventory is making me a little uneasy. Hey, Murray! Uh, 
Excuse me, is that a prison uniform you're wearing? Of course not. I just, uh, like orange. I'm like vanilla ice. Really? Come on, Murray. I would never lie to you. Uh, do I know you? Well, uh, no. I, I mean, not really. But I, I, I've heard a lot about you. You know, that story about the duck and, uh... Stop right there. I don't want to think about that. Let's change the subject then. So, uh, how's life treating you, Murray? I can't complain. Really? Because if it was me, I'd rather not be dead. What do you mean? Well, you know, you're dead, aren't you? Why would you say that? Can't you see I'm right here talking to you? Yeah, well, uh, maybe dead is not the perfect word for it. What about undead? That's the complete opposite of what you just said. And it's got a zombie ring about it. Have you looked in the mirror today, Murray? Okay, okay. I know my uh, complexion is not what it used to be, but it's just a skin problem. I think it's acute dermatitis. Are you kidding me? Look, kid, I can't be dead. Say what you want, but I still have a lot of places to visit and a lot of wieners to taste. But, Murray, look around you. The world has gone to hell. This is a goddamn apocalypse. Can you really not see that? Well, today is hotter than usual, I'll give you that. But I wouldn't classify it as apocalyptic. It's not that bad. I can't believe you're serious. I said look around you. Everything is in ruins. There's lava everywhere. Don't you see that? Do you think this is normal, Murray? You seem a little agitated, kid. Come on, relax. You're in shock right now. That's all. Just calm down. You're the one who's in shock, you damn freak. Say what you want, kid. I know I'm alive. I have no doubt. So, uh, what are you doing here exactly? Well, I'm guarding the subway entrance. Up here? Didn't you used to have a sweet little office down there? You just said it, kid. I used to. First, a giant globe wrecked everything, and then we had a little lava-related issue. Oh, yeah, uh-huh. Typical Monday problems. And, uh, don't you find it odd that there's nobody on the street today? I mean, uh, except for all the corpses? Seriously, just drop it. There's no way you're gonna convince me that this is the end of the world. Man, you really are a hardhead, aren't you, Murray? So, according to you, uh... What's the big news around town today, then? Well, we've been having a lot of problems. At 9.45 a.m., it started raining fire. At 10.05, there was an earthquake which opened up some huge holes in the ground. And since then, all I've seen are dead bodies everywhere. It was a big quake. Earthquake? I'm sorry, Murray, but I don't believe in earthquakes. Or goblins. Well, believe it or not, it was just an earthquake, so relax. And, uh, what about that raining fire thing? What does that have to do with earthquakes? Do I look like a seismologist? I think it would be better for both of us if I don't tell you what you look like, Murray. Do you still have your old barbecue? Old? Don't you mean classic? Whatever, Murray. I really don't know that much about old barbecues. Kid, everybody knows the Barbecue-matic 9000. It's like the mother of all barbecues. Oh, that's right. I remember the commercials. I think they said it could withstand a 30 megaton explosion. Not even the Zaw Bomba could destroy her. And where is it? Where do you think it is? Is it in the lava? Well, uh, go get it back, Murray. After all, you're already dead. Aw, oh, kid. Please don't start with that again. Huh. <sighs> Seriously, Murray. You don't look so good. What can I say, kid? I just don't feel myself today. Well, I guess that's one way of putting it. But if you feel your jaw starting to fall off, tell me, okay? Well, then, uh, I'm out. I'm sorry, Murray. <gasps> Dad, what the hell? I had to do it. Have you lost your mind? Just calm down for a second. What do you mean, calm down? You just stabbed me! That is true. Are you out of your damn mind? Okay, calm down. Hmm, better now? Shut the hell up, you maniac! You tried to kill me! Okay, you seem a little calmer now. Just listen to me for a sec, please. 
I didn't kill you, see? You're not even bleeding. Was... Was that a fake dagger? I'm afraid not. Then how is it possible? That's what I've been trying to tell you, Murray. You're dead. No way. Way. What? What am I gonna do now? Well, I wouldn't recommend show business. They just treat you like a circus freak. God damn it, this is real. This is really real. It's real. Well, uh, it took you a while to get it, but it looks like you're finally beginning to understand. So, what now? Well, uh, you know, I have a lot of important issues I need to take care of right now, and, uh, the most urgent one is getting some lunch for the gentleman on my rooftop. Some lunch? Exactly. And I could really use your barbecue. Kid, my barbecue is in my office. And my office is under all that lava. Oh, we're doomed. I don't know, kid. Call me skeptical. But I don't think a simple lunch is gonna solve all this. Huh. That's why I'm the main character and you've just got a bit part. Excuse me? Never mind, my dumb friend. Hey, careful there. My body may be rotten, but I could still give you one hell of a slap upside your head, you know. All right, Murray, let's keep it cool. Ah, uh, it's a real shame. What is? That barbecue down there? What a waste. You know, I don't know if you read the instruction manual, but it's lava resistant. I'm just saying. And what the hell do you want me to do? Dive into the lava? Well, you're already dead. I mean, it's impossible to die twice, so you might as well go down there and drag it up or lose it forever. Your call. Hey, boy, don't you think we have more important things to worry about right now? It's just a barbecue. Oh, I see. Just a barbecue. Tell me, Murray, when you were in Hawaii eating wieners the size of a baby's arm and getting cocoa oil rubbed on you by those big-thighed hula babes, was it just a barbecue then? I... actually... And when you were in the Vatican and the Pope himself came over to ask you for a pork chop, was it just a barbecue then? That never happened. And when you were abducted by aliens and you managed to escape from that spaceship by bludgeoning them to death with your loyal barbecue matic 9000, was it just a barbecue then? Don't you have any loving feelings for that piece of junk? How did you know about the alien? You've been given the opportunity to do the final barbecue right in the very midst of the apocalypse. I'm talking about the ultimate barbecue, Murray. Anyway, it's your call. You can either stay here and rot, or you can take part in something that matters. What have I turned into? I'm ashamed of myself. Oh, come on. Don't be so hard on yourself. You're under so much stress and, uh, you lost a lot of skin. You just weren't aware of what you were saying. Here I go, muchacho. What is dead may never die. Go, Murray. And don't look back. I have the feeling... That may have been my last conversation with the finest police officer this repulsive world has ever seen. Honestly, I don't know what'll become of this town without good old Murray. The only thing I know is, we're gonna miss you, officer. No way! You did it! Murray! I'm back. I know, right? What do you say we start getting ready for that ultimate barbecue? I like the way you think, Murray. Let's do this. Well, here's your barbecue. Great. Lunch is here. Ha ha ha. I'm sorry, Famine. I guess you'll just have to eat with your eyes. Hey, wait a second. Where's the food? Um, right, the food. We told you, we just eat human flesh, and don't you dare bring us a decaying body or anything like that. And, uh, let me ask you a question. How do you expect me to find fresh human flesh? All right, all right, I'll find you.